It is so good to be back. I know, I know you guys probably thought I forgot about you, but I would never do something like that. With that being said, let's get into June and July's update. Um, when I was younger, my mom didn't even know the stuff I did. I used to just ask to go to my brother's house. Yes, I know. I know some of you guys probably have been scratching your head asking what has Sly been up to? And that's a valid question. With June and July, I figured to put them together, considering the season of life we've all been going through, I figured and I, I felt like I was put, submitting a lot of updates. And so I said, you know what? Let's give it a little break and then we'll come back hard to give them the update. And so what I'm about to show you is really, like I said, is a merge. It really is um, a compilation of what we've been doing June and July. And uh, I'm excited to, to show it to you guys. So check it out. Let's go. We are on a mission. We have to move all these rocks over to to here. Man, Jules is getting it right now. Let's go. Light work. Watch that back. Watch that back. Get it, a Johnny. Straight getting it. Oh my god, did you see that happening? That one to him true. Now, most teens, especially in June and July, are kicking back, feet up, eating snacks, playing video games, watching movies, Netflixing it up. But I said, you know what, let's utilize this time as best as possible. And so I reached out to a couple people and they had some service projects. And so I reached out to some of the boys and asked them if they want to carve out some time to do some service projects. And they surpassed my expectations. You know, we laid mulch, we built a retaining wall, we cleaned out a house that was about to be sold. And the cool thing about it was uh, for the first time, these kids were laying mulch. Um, they didn't even know what mulch was before we did it. And so it was cool for them to learn something, uh, to once again, step out of their comfort zone. It was taxing, it was tiring, but they had a great time. We got to learn more about each other, got to like, break into some sweet conversations uh, in between the hard work. And that lasted about two weeks uh, from June to July. It was about two weeks of worth of service projects that they did. And it was so great. And I'm so proud of these boys because um, once again, it's, it's so easy to retreat to what you already know or what you're used to, and especially when it's summertime and you might not get paid for what you're doing, but for them to step out and want to do that and to continue to come back was really great. And so I salute them. Thank you so much. You guys know who you are. And of course, I know, I know, it can't be all work. It has to be a little play or fun. So check this out. Bonfires, fun times in the summer. Having a good time. Got the Trootster. Don't share a goat, you know, smashing that don't share a goat. It is working. Yeah. Ew, okay, Jones. Oh, we got that first shot. <laughs> I didn't hit it in the middle. Oh, oh man, I was going to go through oh. all the way. This ball is hurting. Nice. Mm, big slinky ball. There's so many balls. You know, about a week into service projects, I realized, man, a lot of times, or most of the times I'm seeing these kids, if it's not one-on-one, -on -one, um, it's for a service project. And I didn't, I didn't want them to think, especially if they start to see text messages from me, like, oh, Sly's just reaching out to me to do another service project. So I just thought about it. I said, you know what? I, I have two great friends that have beautiful backyards um, and that we could just do bonfires. And I didn't know what the outcome was gonna be, but it was so much fun to see these kids just uh, sit underneath the stars and just hang out. I mean, you saw in the one video, they're just kind of hanging out, listening to music, but in another video, they're chopping wood. Uh, my buddy Riley, he was so kind to like, really pull out wood and show them how to split wood. And they had so much fun doing that. And I think it's those small things that all in all, we take for granted, you know, we, especially if, if it's something that's normal to, to us, you kind of take that for granted. And for those boys, they had so much fun just being with, you know, being with each other and hanging out and just having a good time. 
Um, but also sitting underneath the stars, you know, I, I mentioned something about a constellation and one of the kids were like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, a constellation, like a big dipper. And he's kind of just like, I don't know what you're talking about, Sly. You just, here you go again, just saying whatever you say. And I pulled out my, my Skyview app and I showed them like the different constellations um, that were right above them and around them. And they were just so blown away. And it's just those sweet, simple things that I just thoroughly enjoy about life and especially about what I get to do here in Pittsburgh. It's been so much fun. For those of you who usually view my monthly vlogs, thank you so much. And for those of you who are new, my name is Sly Williams. And I usually say this in the beginning, but I have some important news to relate to you guys. My name is Sly Williams. I'm an area director on the east end of Pittsburgh with Young Life. Um, I've been here for almost two years. Actually, it'll be two years in August. So by the time this is released, it'll be two years. I, I live here with my smoking hot wife, Amy Williams. And actually now she is my smoking hot mama because we just gave birth to our son, Phoenix Sylvester Williams. Check this out. That's my precious boy. He's so adorable. He is such a dream. Uh, we love him. He was born July 22nd of 2020, and he is a miracle. We just love him. Um, with that being said, I don't want to waste any more time. My name is Sly Williams. I'm an air director on the east end of Pittsburgh. I do monthly updates, video updates or vlogs to just keep people uh, posted about what's been going on on the east end of Pittsburgh. And so instead of me doing a newsletter, which I just don't like doing, um, I do videos so you guys can see on a day-to-day -day basis what we get to do, uh, the people that I get to meet, the kids that I, got to, I get to hang out with. And so it's been a lot of fun. Um, what you can be praying for is just clarity uh, for the, the, the next steps in, in, in life, especially with school. Um, they, they haven't released a plan yet. I'm a cross-country coach and track coach with Taylor Olderdice. Um, and you can be praying for clarity, what that's going to look like what the season's gonna look like, um, especially for the kids right now, um, if they're gonna be doing online, if they're not gonna, if they're going back to school. Um, some of these kids don't have the resources to, to, I would say, successfully stay at home and do their work. So perhaps us being more innovative about how we can be more intentional and around students to help them out in, a, in a, the most positive way possible. And we're praying for clarity, pray for resources, pray for my family as it's growing. Pray for Amy, for healing. Pray for, for Phoenix as he grows and just continues to eat. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that he is a, a, a chubby baby. I love, I love him. I just, wanna, I, just wanna, I just wanna kiss the cheeks, but I love him so much and I love Amy and I'm so thankful for her that she gets to rest up. Um, pray for her rest. And if you, know, if you know Amy or you don't know Amy, pray for rest and reach out to her and say rest. She's not someone that likes to rest, but she needs to and she deserves to. Um, you can be praying for our area. Once again, we're, we're just trying to come up with the most creative ways to stay in touch with kids, but also respect the precautions um, of social, social distancing. And so uh, we probably won't be able to meet up with, you know, 50 kids, but if we can meet up with five at a time or we'll do one-on-ones, that's what we want to do. And that's something that I've been working on, um, especially as I come off of paternity leave. By the time you see this video, I will be on paternity leave. And so as I come back out of that, how can I be more intentional? How can our leaders, Becca, Spencer, and Sarah, how can we be just be more intentional and, and inclusive to loving kids? Um, I don't want to go on a tangent. I want to make this video kind of short. I just wanted to show you guys like what we've been up to. Like I said, we're still going after kids, even during the summertime, even during a pandemic. We, we, we're here. We're not going anywhere. Um, I love you guys. And seriously, if you haven't heard that from anyone else, hear it from me. I love you. You have meaning, you have value, you have purpose. I'm out of here. I'm going to go get back with my little boy. Peace.